this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite way to combat or to counter the tight Y off offense in Madden uh, 22. And guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day to help people become better at this game. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level, be sure to hit the sub button. But the other thing I wanted to let you know about is my Patreon membership. Uh, my Patreon membership is my, it, basically it's where I put all of my offensive and defensive eBooks. So if you want to get one of those, or you can, you, you literally get all of the eBooks by joining the Patreon. So the defense we're talking about today, I have a full eBook on the defense explaining how it works against all kinds of formations and the adjustments that you want to do. And then also, um, I've got a ton of offensive eBooks. We've got over 20 offensive and defensive guides in there. So if you want to check that out, that'll be linked in the description. Also, every week we do like a weekly update video where <coughs> we kind of just cover some of the key things going on in the community and how to counter the meta or how the meta works, kind of break down some of the deeper dive into the stuff like that. So just different concepts really try to dive deep and explain so that you can understand why it works and how to counter it. So if you want to check that out again, that's in the description. But the coverage, um, two plays we want, or three plays really that I like to have, I guess four, but... Um, these are the audibles that I like in, in, in 3 wide. And the reason I like to have Mike Bud Zero and Cover One Robert is because based on the formation that they are in, um, is going to tell you like what coverage you want to run because Cover One Robert works a little differently against certain cover or sets and Mike Bud Zero works a little differently against specific sets. So, uh, anyway, with that in mind, I like to come out in 3 5 normal and audible down. So I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, safeties at these positions and then we're just going to come out and show you this coverage so first things first is tight way off is kind of similar to tight slots the major difference between the two is that this uh, running back is on the right side and also they're not like the, the formation is not super compressed it's kind of like a mix between tight and, and doubles if you think about it because they're not like they're compressed but they're not like super compressed i'll show you what i mean so i'm gonna audible to tight uh tight slots if i can find it here watch how they move inside see that see how they move inside also notice that my nickel corner moves to the opposite side of the field that's really really important okay so how do i like to defend tight lie off I love the play cover one robber because it's going to get us a really good press animation on this player right here and this player right here. Now, one of the other things that's really important to understand whenever you're running a defense is you got to understand like why things occur. It's really important to get in practice mode and really walk yourself through different steps, especially against the, you can't do it against everything, but you can do it against some of the best formations in the game or like the, the top 10 and um that's what i try to do so anyways what you're gonna see right here is we have this this um this cover one robber i'm just gonna kind of run a play and show you how good it is as you can see the the stuff that normally beats it from tight or from a compressed look let me give you an example so if i'm in mike blitz zero you'll notice that it by and large looks about the same but if i'm in cover one robber you'll notice something really important. Number one, we have a three rec hook defender right here. This is a very, very good zone. Number two, notice who is guarding the running back. My user is. And this is really important because what we wanna do is we wanna be able to put two curl flats on the field. We wanna curl flat from the left side to stop a slant to the left, and then we wanna curl flat to the right side to stop a slant to the right. However, another really important piece of defense is understanding how to deal with a running back and a tight end, especially in Madden 22, because it is different than it's ever been because you can't really block the running back this year to pick up pressure. So again, this is just a shaded down man coverage. You see we get really nice press animations. Notice that that deep post from this formation is pretty decent against man. So that's a route that you have to kind of think about in terms of how do I defend this, right? So again, just shade down in main coverage, and then we're just gonna show you one more time, this post to Evans is really the key route. You'll see late in the play, he kind of glitches him and gets open. And that's more so because of his ability deep out of lead than anything else, okay? So how do I like to set up my coverage? Another thing that I've really learned a lot 
is again it's really important i call them clean press animations so if i'm in mike blitz zero and i purple these two defenders the purple zones are going to flow to the outside right two issues with that number one they're flowing from the inside out and so they're going to be underneath a lot of the routes that we want them to guard and then number two they are going to be in a position that is not that advantageous to us and the reason why it's not that advantageous to us is because they're um they're potentially going to bump some of our some of our uh coverages so i'm just going to audible to a play um you see pa slot cross is a really good example so let's say that I, you know, take my tight end and I put him on a post or something. You'll notice that these purples kind of run into each other and it creates these little rubs and these routes are a lot easier to be vulnerable. So what I like to do out of cover one robber is take that safety on that side and put him into a curl flat. Now from here, I've got a couple of different things that I can do. Um, I could go ahead and put this guy in man coverage on you know the running back if i wanted to do that i could also put him in a vertical hook if i wanted a little additional coverage on that side of the field um another thing that i i could do is i could take him and cross man him onto anyone on the field so anyone that i wanted to cross man him on i could um so we'll come back to that in just a second but i want you to notice how now from a play like pa slot cross this purple zone doesn't run into anybody. And so the coverage is able to kind of run its course. So we're still getting the purples, but we're all, we're not sacrificing the, the rubs. We're not running into each other. And I feel like that is such an underrated tip when we're talking about playing good defense against a, you know, a good formation like tight Y off. So again, we're going to shade our coverage down. Why do we do this? This makes it so that this zone right here plays literally everything in the middle of the field. Like we're talking um, an angle route to the running back. We're talking even, I mean, he'll even, like I'll show you. So like like flood drive, for example, we might want to go with a streak, a slant combo, something like this, right? Watch the slant. You'll see this three rec will really lurk that slant really, really well, as you can see right there. So how I like to defend tight Y off is again, I know that I have to watch out for a couple key things. I know I obviously have to watch out for crossers. I have to watch out for these like deep post routes from flood drive or from PA go slot cross. The other thing that I have to watch out for is you see how that right there, see how I got, I got randomly glitched on that side. Those are all things in all elements of, you know, an offense. So, what I like to do is shade down. I like to back off this guy so that he'll play the coverage a little bit better on that player. And particularly, we're then going to curl flat here. And then from there, it is a little bit more up to you. What I like to do defensively is take Davis and man him up on the tight end. And then I will typically go ahead and curl flat Savage. And then we could just send this. Or if you want to drop another three red cook zone, um, you could bluff blitz one of your D linemen. So you see here, that's kind of how it looks. Now, if they go back to that play switch wide receiver drag, you're going to notice that the running back gets covered by the purple. This post is our primary responsibility. But you also notice that because he's not pressing up on him, he doesn't get as burned as he would otherwise. Another great example is the play flood drive so if you take a look here you're going to see that again just by moving him off it's going to help the coverage a little bit um it's one of my favorite little tricks for solo solo kind of receivers if you will and again we have the tight end manned up from across the formation so if the tight end is on a wheel he's going to run and really kind of cut that route off fairly well so you see here our primary thing is to get on top of stuff but notice you see flood drive again didn't get a ton of separation primarily because we're not in a press animation really what it comes down to i think this year in madden especially when you're talking about man-to-man -man coverage is you have to understand shading down is one of the best best things you can do for your man-to-man -man coverage however um, it's really really important to understand when you do that you can be vulnerable to things like 
like the solo side um, posts from this play right here. Notice the cross man on the tight end. If I try to throw that, he's coming right into his area. If I click on there, that's probably an interception. So this play all in all is a really good play. Now, another thing that you can do is you can blitz from this. So if I wanted to blitz from this, I could do something like this right here. And what I would recommend is to man up that tight end across the formation. You really wanna keep this three rec if at all possible. One other little pro tip about um, cover one robber is if you flip the coverage, notice that it doesn't change. So I can get a three rec to come from the left side and then man the tight end up here. And then I'm just kind of watching the running back. If the running back goes out on a route, so let's say, um, for example, the play wheel spot, I'm just gonna run right over there and go guard him. And you see how good the coverage is. Um, typically you get a little bit better pressure than that, but you know, anyway, you have that idea. The other thing that I wanna just really quickly point out about cover one robber, and this is why I think, you know, flipping it is a decent idea, um, especially from a blitzing perspective, because, but what you what you def, definitely don't want is you don't want the backside purple necessarily. The backside purple is not the greatest zone. Um, but anyways, so the other thing that I wanted to say just real quickly about this is if the tight end blocks, which is a very popular thing that people like to do. So they're going to block the tight end and then they're going to, you know, do something like, like this. Probably not something like this, but like just some kind of route to the running back. It doesn't really matter to me what it is. So just like a wheel, you know, and then maybe they'll do like a little check down underneath. Okay, very simple. What you're gonna notice is if they block the tight end, the guy that is guarding the tight end will go guard the running back. So in this scenario, um, if we, you know, even if we don't put this guy in coverage, or let's just say he's in a vertical hook zone, which is another really good zone for tight, by the way, um, notice that he will go guard the running back. See that right there? See how he guards the running back? Obviously, wheels are insane, but you see what I'm saying. Okay? So that's just a little little trick that I really like against, against these sets because I want to kind of force them into it. So let's say that I blitz, for example, and let's say that I take that backside safety and man him up on the tight end. Okay? And then they are like, well, we're going to block your blitz and so that we have time to hit our route. I don't have to worry about the running back. See how he'll kind of go. Actually, he doesn't, I guess, if you blitz. But anyway, maybe it's more of a linebacker thing. But typically, if you man somebody up on the tight end, it might have been because we were, um, we weren't in a good, we weren't in the right alignment. Let me show you. So I'm manned up on the tight end here, and then this guy's in a purple. And I'm gonna send pressure. And what you'll see, I'm blocking the tight end. Now, because I'm on the same side, you see he kind of bails back and, and, and is now kind of helping in, in a deep half type of way. So that's something else that you can really do to help your coverage, um, you know, against against the running back is is have this guy or this guy manned up on the tight end. And what you should see, this is why I like to have these, another reason why I really like to have these guys um, in coverage on the tight end is because let's say the running back blocks. Well, tight end's covered, running back's not worried about. If the tight end blocks, then the linebacker will go with him, as you can see. And sometimes I do some swap offs and things like that, but anyways, that's the idea. And of course, I need to be there with my user um, to handle that. Don't, really important, don't rely on thirds this year. Thirds are really bad um, from a coverage perspective. So let's say I run that same route combination and I have a third back there. Notice the third, now again, I got I got screamed at, classic uh, practice mode. But notice that this third is not gonna defend the post once he comes across his face. And compression is really good at bringing a post across his face. So like right there, he kind of crosses his face and now it's one-on-one -on -one with the guy. So that's just a little bit of, a, of a, a detail thing. And that's why I like to top routes. I don't trust deep zones this year. I don't think they're very good in this game. So I want to be the player that is responsible for going with the route. So, you know, this is one of my favorite coverages right here. Just something simple like this, maybe putting the three rec um, on that DN through a bluff blitz assignment. But what you'll see, and then of course we want to back this guy off. But what you'll see is I know I don't have to worry about anything underneath. So I'm topping, I'm getting back over the top of the coverage to help with anything deep, okay? So that's the principle, and you can apply this defense to almost anything. 
and it's very, very effective. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about how to really dive deep, not only into this coverage, but also several other ones, I'm going to put a link in the description of my Patreon. You can sign up for that for just 10 bucks a month and it'll get you access to everything. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.